looking for them, the goal is for them to get a 15% return, right? Correct. Sure. So we, we structure it so that it would be based on a cash on cash ROI with an overall return on investment higher than that. And so most of the individuals that we're trying to mostly help is individuals looking for cash flow. Um, if, if you're looking for the long term wealth, you know, buy a property, hold it for 30 years or fix and flip and you can generate, you know, quite a bit of equity. What we're playing for here is more of a high cash flow model where you're turning your money maybe every two to three years versus buying and holding it for 30 years. So, yeah, typically the cash on cash is 15 percent with the, you know, the annualized ROI being, you know, maybe 18 percent or something uh, along that realm. And again, these are. The projections and some go higher, some go less, depending on how long the tenant buyer stays in the home. If they, you know, buy it back in two months, that's a pretty good, you know, ROI because it's only two months versus if they stay in it for three years, then eventually, you know, don't buy it or leave and you have to do something else. But that's how we're structuring it from the, I'll call it the perceived added risk for the investor because you can't get a bank loan. There's a reason for that. And you're deemed quote unquote riskier. And so for the riskier, you know, nature of it, Investors are typically looking for a higher return. 